In this world, beneath the surface of ordinary life, lurks a darker reality. A reality where crimes remain unsolved, and justice often eludes those who seek it. Hidden in the shadows are minds twisted by madness, psychopaths who walk among us, unseen and unnoticed. They leave behind trails of mystery and horror, their actions defying logic, while the truth remains buried in the depths of unsolved cases. This is a world where the line between sanity and chaos blurs, and the most terrifying monsters are not those of legend, but the ones who hide behind human faces. Memory Updated the story of the Golden State Killer is one of the most chilling in American criminal history, marked by decades of terror, with more than 50 rapes, 13 murders, and countless burglaries across California during the 1970s and 80s. But what makes this case revolutionary isn't just the sheer brutality of the crimes, it's how he was finally caught after eluding capture for over 40 years. The Turning Point Genetic Genealogy The Reign of Terror Joseph James Dingello The man eventually identified as the Golden State Killer struck fear across California under various monikers the Visalia Ransacker, the East Area Rapist, and the Original Night Stalker. His attacks were terrifyingly precise, often stalking victims four days before attacking. Despite the best efforts of law enforcement at the time, he consistently managed to evade capture, leaving behind only DNA as evidence, DNA that, back then, couldn't be properly analyzed. The Cold Case For years, the Golden State Killer remained an unsolved mystery. Investigators kept DNA evidence from multiple crime scenes in hopes that one day advancements in forensic science would catch up to this elusive predator. The case went cold, but the memories of his violent crimes never faded, with survivors and the families of his victims haunted by the lack of justice. A Breakthrough in DNA Technology Everything changed in 2018 when investigators tried something unconventional, genetic genealogy. This emerging field involved comparing DNA left at the crime scenes with data from public genealogy websites like GEDmatch, where people voluntarily upload their DNA to trace their ancestry. Unlike traditional law enforcement databases like CODIS, these public databases contain DNA from ordinary people who are interested in their heritage. Investigators weren't looking for Dingelo himself, they were looking for distant relatives who shared his DNA profile. Building the family tree after obtaining a partial match from GEDmatch, investigators painstakingly built an extended family tree, narrowing down the suspect pool. Through birth records, obituaries, and family histories, they eventually identified a man who fit the age, physical profile, and geographic location of the Golden State Killer's crimes, Joseph James Dingello. The final arrest, Dingello, a former police officer, had long been under the radar. Once investigators had him in their sights, they used more traditional forensic methods to confirm the match. In April 2018, they surreptitiously collected a DNA sample from something Dingello had discarded, confirming without a doubt that he was the Golden State Killer. His arrest stunned the world. For decades, the Golden State Killer had lived a quiet, unassuming life in the Sacramento suburbs. The man who had inflicted so much pain and suffering was finally brought to justice, in large part due to a technology that hadn't existed when he began his crime spree. The Genetic Genealogy Revolution This case marked a watershed moment in forensic science. Genetic genealogy is now a powerful tool for solving cold cases, some stretching back decades. Since the Golden State Killer's arrest, 
Many other criminals have been caught using the same technique, solving cases that were once considered unsolvable. It sparked debates about privacy, ethics, and the future of law enforcement, as the public began to realize the vast implications of this technology. For true crime enthusiasts and forensic science buffs, the story of the Golden State Killer isn't just about justice, it's about how technology is reshaping the way we catch criminals. Genetic genealogy changed everything, turning family history into a weapon against those who believed they had gotten away with murder. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you on my next video. Madeline McGann was just three years old when she disappeared from a holiday apartment in Praia da Luz, Portugal, on May 3, 2007. The case has since become one of the most famous missing person cases in modern history. Thank mm -hmm. you.